we become a laughing stock. Jeremy Vine highlights huge issue as foreign media mock UK. Prince Andrew has helped to make the UK a laughing stock around the world, according to TV presenter Jeremy Vine. The Duke of York last week settled a civil sexual assault case brought against him in the US by Virginia Jufri. Ms. Jufri had been suing him, claiming he sexually assaulted her on three occasions when she was 17. Prince Andrew has consistently and strenuously denied the allegations. The British Royal has agreed to pay an undisclosed amount of money to both Ms. Jufri and the charity for victims of sex trafficking of her choice. The out-of-court settlement in principle has spared the Queen's second son from the public humiliation of a trial. However, it has not saved him from becoming the target of what appears to be an unflattering Aussie TV program about him. And if the promotional video posted on social media is anything to go by, the program makers have not pulled their punches. Posting a video clip of the program to Twitter, Australia's 60 Minutes wrote, Tonight on number 60 Minutes. How the rogue royal dodged a bullet, but who's really paying for his silence? The video shows a small part of Prince Andrew's disastrous interview with the BBC's Emily Maitlis, where he denies ever having met Ms. Giffer. I. I have no recollection of ever meeting her. I. I have a peculiar medical condition, the stuttering Duke is heard to say. One interviewee is then filmed saying, the joke was he should have a revolving door in his bedroom. OK a 40-year-old man with about 50 or 60 teddy bears on his bed. Alright fair enough. The promotional clip prompted Mr. Vine to take to Twitter and write, We have become a laughing stock. His followers were quick to add their own thoughts. Mark Thompson wrote, Don't think most people really care about Randy Andy that much. But yes HM the Queen sets an example to us all. On that basis alone we have a head of state that is admired around the world. So not a laughing stock. Let's talk up GB once in a while please. John Smith posted, Just imagine how we look on the world stage with Andrew and with Johnson as our leader. While another commented, We? Not sure that's true JV. He has but not me or you. In a letter on Tuesday to U.S. Judge Louisa Kaplan, Ms. Jufri's lawyer David Boyes wrote jointly with Prince Andrew's lawyers to say the pair had reached a settlement in principle. A statement included with the letter read, the parties will file a stipulated dismissal upon Ms. Jufri's receipt of the settlement, the sum of which is not being disclosed. It went to say that the Duke of York regrets his association with Epstein and commends the bravery of Ms. Jufri and other survivors in standing up for themselves and others. He pledges to demonstrate his regret for his association with Epstein by supporting the fight against the evils of sex trafficking, and by supporting its victims. Thank you for watching our videos, subscribe to our channel to get notifications when we post newest videos, thank you and goodbye.